Thank you. Uh, one more time. Hey, good evening. What I like about music, there is no accent. Uh, it especially relates to me because uh, English is not my first language and that's why it's, I kind of struggle with English. But I, I hope you will forgive me for, uh, for my bad grammar and my uh, accent. Uh, <clears throat> but I just want to take a few minutes to share with you who we are at the Spring of Life Church and why we are here, and what is our purpose, what is our goal. And as I mentioned in the very beginning about our mission statement, right now I just want to give you a little bit wider perspective of our mission statement. What does it mean for, for us? Why do we exist? And as I said already, as a Spring of Life Church, here we exist for the glory of God. This is ultimate pur purpose for all of us. We exist for the glory of God. And the way we glorify God is by making disciples. And there are three ways how we make disciples through word, worship, and fellowship. So we exist for the glory of God and we glorify God by making disciples through word, worship, and fellowship. And as I said, let, uh, give me please a few minutes to give you a wider explanation of what does it mean, what, what does it mean for us. How, we, how do we glorify God by making disciples through word, worship, and fellowship? So I'm going to share with what we believe in and what we want to like, reach you with when we talk about God, when we talk about the church. God, we believe from the Bible that God created perfect world. God created this world, this earth for people, and he placed people on this earth. And he said, guys, you have two choices. So there is kind of uh, like sort of rules, uh, but I, I give it to you not just to limit you. It's not about limitation, your freedom or something. It's about protection. So there is my way how I, God, understand the, uh, the life. This is, uh, this is my way how I understand your existence. And you, you have choice. You can follow me. You, you can follow by my understanding. And there is, or, or, or it could be something yours. And people decided there was Adam and Eve. They said, you know, God, which is our own way. I want to rule my life. I want to ruin uh, run my life and ruin my life and I just want to choose by myself what is right what is wrong what I gonna do what I want to do what I am comfortable with why I'm not what is good for me what it's not so it's my choice this is my life and I want to live it how I want and today we are here where we are within this ruined world with the all this evil we have with all this criminal with all this bad stuff we were surrounded with because we decided to go our way. But what is amazing about God, God still is our creator. So talking about people, like consequences of our choice, we can find in Romans chapter 3, verse 21. Paul summarized, oh, 23, sorry, summarized all this idea about our choice in a few words. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Everybody has sinned. There, you know, we can talk about different people. We can talk about ourselves. I am better than uh, somebody else. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't steal anything. I, maybe I lied sometimes, but I try to live good life. I try to make right, good choices. I try to uh, be kind for people around me. But anyway, sometime in your life you did something wrong. You said something wrong, maybe you abused somebody, uh, maybe something else happened in your life. You still surround by evil and you still connected with this evil. In Bible is very short about this. It doesn't matter uh, where he was born, what language you speak, and it's nothing about your talents. It's very short. All people have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God. This is first statement when we talk about we make disciples through word. Word of God told us or tell us we are creation of God. We are his creation and God created us for his glory. But because we choose to go our own way, we sinned. And everybody is sinner today. And uh, what is good about this message, well, I mean, this statement, it's nothing good. That 
because we are and how we can reach people how we can make disciples through word of God when it tells us that God is holy but we are sinners and there is no place for people for sinners in the presence of God but there's second thing about this it's not the end of all because God, as I said, he still loves us and he is our creator and he still wants to participate in our lives and he never stopped loving us. He never stopped when he said, God, we don't want you. God, we want to live by our own ways and understanding. But God still tries to do something. God still tries to reach us to change the situation, to change evil for good. And what is good about this word, when we, ta- when we say we make disciples through word, we mean this. It's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace you have been saved through the faith. And this is not your own doing, it's the gift of God. All people have seen But God saved us from this by his grace through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, you know what? I'll take responsibility for all your sins. I'll take responsibility for all wrong things you've done in your life. I'll pay for it. I'll fix it. I'm responsible. I'll uh, I'll pay your debt. And this is the only way how God, how it was possible to change situation, to make us saved. And it's not because I was good. It's not because I was like, you know, so uh, like God just fell in love with me and like, okay, Paul, it's about you and some like these, these guys, but not about you because he was born with the different color of your skin or because you're not so educated or because you're not in from the uh, rich family or something else. Not God saved everybody. God paid for all people because he loves all people. And he said, yes, all people fall, uh, fall in sin. All people have sinned. But because of grace of God, Jesus paid for our sins. And today we have this opportunity to be saved. And this is how we come to second statement or second point of our mission statement. We glorify God and we make disciples through glory, like through worship. Because when you understand that there is holy God and there is I and I, I am sinner with the, all my bad stuff, my bad attitudes, my, my bad habits, my bad words, my bad actions, my bad thoughts, my bad, bad I, 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 you know, eyes and every, all this bad stuff you try to avoid, you try to fix in your life here with no success. And then you open for yourself, there is God who paid and who made you able to be different, to be better, to be perfect, to be strong enough to overcome the sin. You cannot stop and start worshiping God. And this is our message. It's not about holy God and sinner, period. It's about holy God who loved sinners and paid for our sins and changed the situation. This is how we can glorify God. This is how we worship God. Because we understand who is God, who we are, and what happened with us because of grace of God. And third thing, we make disciples through fellowship. So Jesus said, you're sinners, but I came and I saved you from this and said, now I commend you. It's Matthew chapter 28. It's last word of Jesus Christ. It's uh, uh, chapter 28, verse 18 and 19 and 20. He said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the, uh, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the earth. And uh, 
we read next. So then uh, the Lord Jesus, after he had uh, spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and set uh, down at the right hand of God. And they, disciples, went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them. This calls fellowship because when I uh, lived or experienced this in my life, when I struggle with these bad attitudes of my life, with, with bad habits of my life, and once God came to me and changed my life, it doesn't mean I have no problems anymore. It means in all these problems, I have God with me. And when I know the difference, I, I am full with desire to go and share, guys, there is different life. There is a better life. It, I, I do not promise, God do not promise you life free from problems. But he promised you life full with his presence in all these problems. Giving you peace and understanding that everything is in God's hand. In God paid for all, all problems. God already fulfilled all the things for you. And this is how we create fellowship. Because I cannot be alone with this joy. Because I cannot be alone with this gladness of my life. And I go and share. I go and share. And then there is somebody else. And we connect it. We together. We gather together weekly. We glorify God. We share all these miracles. We share all problems. We support each other. We encourage each other. Each other. This is how we have fellowship. And there's something awesome about this uh, life with Jesus Christ because it's not something, you know, uh, fairy tale about something, uh, you know, uh, supernatural behind the earth. It's here and it's today. God is real and God's in our lives. And this is how we see this in the Bible. This is how we live. This is what we experience, experience it in our life. And this is why we tell and we teach us and we, we teach people in our church that we exist for the glory of God. And we make disciples because we cannot make disciples of Jesus Christ. And we share the word. Together we worship God and we gather for fellowship because we're united by God. All sinners. All sinners. You know, church is place full with sinners. With people with a lot of problems. But saved by grace of God through Jesus Christ. People with all these problems. But with Jesus in life. This is what we want to share with you. This is why, you know, all these guys are just listening. I'm not so, I'm not a musician at all. I used to be in, when I was a child, uh, like in the music school for three and a half years, probably I uh, played, but it was like a long, long time ago. And, uh, I, I, but I listen all this stuff and like uh, uh, this, I, I cannot understand and follow with my eyes, with all these fingers. And they spend a lot of time, you know, because like they on payments or something like this, it's desire of God, of heart to glorify God. Because you know the difference. You know the difference, what was, what was before and what we have now. And this difference we want to share with you through songs, through music. We just want to tell you God loves you. We want to share this love with you. And after the concert, we have something more. And after the concert, behind this door, we have coffee shop, we have big room, we have snacks, and all this, not because in two hours we become hungry, but because we want to have fellowship with you. Probably we become hungry, as I am. But because we want just you... Uh, just take more time to be here and please give us a chance to uh, become your friends. Because we're the same people as you are. The same, like, you know, children problems, school problems, work problems, relationship problems, family problems, all these sort of problems. But God with us. And we experience all these problems with God. It's completely different thing. It's completely different life. This is what something awesome we want to share with you. This is our goal for as a Spring of Life Church, glorify God that we share the gospel through the word, worship, 
and fellowship. And when we share, we want you, we want to invite to join us in this fellowship of family of Jesus Christ, which calls church. Amen. May God bless you.